westbound I-70 through Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas, it's a critical artery in and out of the city. It's a bridge replacement, so we've been hired to remove the existing bridge. Uh, we took off all the concrete deck. There was another I-beam floor system uh, on top of the steel truss that we removed as we did our deck removal. Then the complete substructure removal uh, on land and in water. The challenges of this bridge was the tight conditions. We, we have a railroad track next to it. The railroad crosses under the bridge twice and it crosses over a railroad truss bridge. We're in a downtown area. I think I've always looked for the odd jobs, the harder ones that more people weren't interested in. And we like tedious track work. I started a uh, business in uh, early 1990 and have worked as far as east coast of Georgia. Our first Volvo was the 480 High Reach. I, I spent about a year studying out all the High Reaches to come to the conclusion that I wanted the Volvo. I, I was liking it, liking a lot of the features, the computer, they were stout machines, they ran smooth. And I pretty much made the decision right then that I would turn the table and go all Volvo. They're pretty operator friendly. The controls are nice and smooth and uh, it just is a decent machine to run. Sometimes they're very long days and they're nice to operate. They're very comfortable. I knew a high reach was the machine that we needed. Being the only one in town with one, I think that makes some of our customers feel they can call us and we have the right machine for the job. The high reach right now is being used to help remove some large steel girders, welded plate girders. That speed that you can go through there and, and cut all those diaphragms versus having a guy and a man lift and a, and a torch set, you know, it's a lot faster and safer. After that's done, we'll also put a, a hoe ram on the high reach boom. It'll take down the, the tall piers, you know, 70 foot tall, plus or minus. We're doing demo, so we're gonna put the machine to its test. So I'm looking at how tough they're built. I do think the Volvo, with their warranty, sets them apart that they're confident that their machine's gonna withstand what I wanna do with it. 